and welcome to ESHG in Gothenburg. This is the European premier human genetics conference and we are so excited to be here. It's such a fantastic opportunity to, for us to listen, engage and collaborate with our customers. Genomics is key to all my research. We investigate both sequencing data and also array data and to see to look for new discoveries of, of, of variants of genes that associate with these uh, psychiatric disorders. We aim to offer our users a plethora of uh, high throughput sequencing and genotyping techniques, ranging from single SNPs to whole genome sequencing. We're doing whole genome bisulfide sequencing, RNA sequencing, and single cell applications. These days, it's, it's the throughput in multiomics data generation that really enables us to scale up. And in order to you know, gain novel insight, these uh, scale-ups permit us to study many more samples, enabling us to really get new, important insight. We take the data from the, from the Novasic. We just the multiplex the data. We go through the alignment, the calibration, the variant calling, and then the annotation of all the variants in order to uh, give uh, answer to the analysts. I think the Dragon is uh, an, an important step forward. The, the possibility to use the Dragon it give us to the bioinformatician the possibility to move forward and to study other different things. We have sequenced the genomes of 2,300 Estonian individuals. So we have also genotype uh, data using uh, various Illumina chips for more than, uh, I think already more than 100,000 individuals. My main research um, interest has been developing polygenic risk scores for common complex diseases such as type 2 diabetes, coronary artery disease, also breast cancer. Our hope is that this quality risk score can help us with the clinical utility in the future to obtain more precise diagnosis of the disorders. I think that multi-omics on a single cell level will be the next thing that a lot of people will embrace. It really will enable us to look at the different relationships between, let's say, genetic variation, gene expression changes and, for instance, methylation directly in a single cell. And if we are able to do so for thousands or millions of cells, we really will be able to shed fundamental insights in how those different relationships uh, come about.